Okay, Virgo. I see a lot of walking away here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. All right. What is going on, Virgo? All right. So what I do see here, okay, again, um, just looking right at this, um, some of you um, may be walking away from a commitment here. Okay. Um, somebody might be walking away from an old belief system and walking towards um, a different um, a different type of spirit spirituality or a different mindset um, some type of spiritual growth so um, someone here is definitely walking away here um, just depends on what the situation is um, but I do see here that there is a shift here in walking away from either a commitment or Let's get some clarification here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, I feel like somebody is, I'm picking up off of an injury of energy of someone that wants to walk away from old beliefs. But I also feel like someone here, um, something about a walking away from a commitment. Now, when we're talking about a commitment, this could be, um, you know, this could be job related um this could be you know a relationship this could definitely be um you know whatever commitment means to you so something that you've committed to um walking away from that and um yeah with the six of cups i feel like this is you know speaking about walking away from something from the past i feel like this is like a, a old belief um, you know, something that you believed in in the past to be true for you, maybe it no longer serves you because it's a situation that was instilled from your childhood because the Six of Cups talks about, you know, your childhood, your past, that sort of thing. So some of you are breaking away from something from, you know, your childhood, something that had to do with um, religion or spirituality, okay? For some of you, you're walking away from someone that, you know, was someone that you were committed to for a very long time, um, a commitment that because there was a lot of history there, um, but also the Six of Cups was in reverse, and the Six of Cups being in reverse, um, a lot of times can still mean the same thing, you know, this is definitely something from the past, um, but this is like really, um, this could also talk about having some avoidance from walking away. Like this might've been something that you found it very hard to walk away from, um, because you have been in this belief system or with this particular person for such a long time. Okay. And so it's just like, um, this situation, regardless of how, how you look at it, has no place in your your current life now. Like you've made that decision, okay? Now, the outside energy that I do see here for you um, with the star card, okay? This is like someone that is destined to be um, a part of your life. It could be romantically, in most cases it is. Um, someone that you're destined to be with, something that you're destined to do, but I feel more so like this is someone that you are destined to be with. So, you know, you might be walking away, um, from a situation if this has to do with spirituality or old beliefs, um, you know, you really trying to find out what your true destiny is because you feel like this is not something that serves you. Maybe it serves your, um, community or your family in some way, but it definitely does not serve you. And so, um, we are also seeing justice here. Okay. So this is speaking about, you know, getting things in balance and what balance means for you. Okay. So you no longer being tipped in the scales of, you know, trying to please people because this is what you grew up into, um, this is the person that you've been with for so long and everybody expects you to be with them because of this long history, um, something like that. Um, it's like really getting the justice that you need in order to do your own thing and do what's destined for you. Now, the outside energy could also 
speak of this could be a Libra okay um, this is an Aquarius this could be a Libra so um, again I typically don't go into signs because you know it could represent that situation that person it may not but if I feel like spirit is telling me for someone out there to, to say some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius some of you might be dealing with a Libra but that the outside influence here is either someone that you're destined to be with is coming and that's going to bring you some some balance okay that person's going to help you you know balance out um and maybe some more give and take maybe with this old situation there wasn't a lot of give and take it was really one-sided but this person is going to bring in balance this person could possibly be someone that you're destined to be with um like a soulmate or something like that um if this is just a situation this is just like you know you're finally on the right path you walking away this was what was destined to happen and this is going to bring justice um, in, into your life. Or there is a situation um, because you've walked away from this. This could be an, a new opportunity that comes along that's destined to be. And you had to be free from this particular situation or per person in order to bring balance into, um, you know, this new life that that you are really desiring. OK, the reason why you walked away for a lot of you is because, you know, this was no longer serving you. This situation, regardless if it's a person, a new opportunity, a way of thinking, um, this serves you, okay, um, when we're talking about justice. Now, this could also be a situation for some of you, um, if you are walking away, possibly from a marriage, if you're already married, okay, if you're walking away and you feel like there's someone out there better for you or there's another um life out there that's going to be better because this is not a situation where it's balanced um then if you guys are going through a divorce or a court hearing this could work in your favor it's destined to work in your favor okay so um three different messages there now what i'm seeing here is that um you know there is a loss here okay there is a loss you know because i feel like this situation or this person was something that you were attached to for a very long time okay so there is there is um some loss here and i feel like you could possibly have some guilt here um maybe even some sorrow because even when we have to walk away from people sometimes we still love them to in a different capacity um or we love certain aspects that that um belief system showed us or shaped us in some type of way but you know this could also speak about guilt so you might have a little bit of guilt here um, because you are wanting to walk away or considering walking away or have already walked away um, but with the nine of wands it's like but you know that you have to stand in your power you have to stand your ground because you know that there's something else destined out there for you so it's like although you feel guilty although you see this as a loss um sadness you know um you're really feeling like you need to stand your ground and in that the sick of, of swords pops out okay this is you walking away once again this is you know no longer wanting to fight this is you putting your swords down and saying you know what i tried to stay in this you know i tried to fight the good fight but now i surrender okay this Eight of Cups is more like walking away from something that no longer serves you um, towards something else um, that does better, you know, serve you. Um, but the Six of Swords is like, you know, whatever comes about this, I don't want to fight anymore. You know, I'm not going to fight with anybody why I walked away. I'm going to walk away. And of course, there's probably going to be questions that need to, to be answered or um, you know, a situation where there's going to have to be a conversation and that's fine, but I'm not going to fight to stay in this anymore. And I'm not going to fight to state my case. Okay. Um, because either way, you know, you're, you're going to get justice here. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the, a, uh, the Knight of pentacles rather. So I feel like this is a long time coming. Um, 
you know, you've been waiting on something for a very long time, something new to come in, um, a new offer, a new beginning, something new. Um, and definitely looks like, you know, there will be, be something new dropping off the burden, the burden of staying in this situation. Okay. So that's no longer, um, going to be the case because you are dropping this burden off, um, and headed towards the nine of cups, the wish fulfillment. Okay. So I do see that, you know, something that you've been waiting for, for a very long time is going to be able to manifest now that you've made this decision, you know, you're dropping off the burdens where they lay, you know, and now you're headed to your wish fulfillment. So um, that is what I see. Now let's get some insight from the Archangel deck here to see how, how can you as um, Virgo, how can you um, get through the get through this time. What is the the best advice that they can give you? Okay Man, I'll tell you I've had some really difficult readings here in the last few moments here. Okay, so clairvoyance Okay, it says I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love Absolutely, because I do feel like for a lot of you this does have to talk about um, spirituality um, and for some of you it's about love so yeah there is going to be um, you know some full awakening that happens when it comes to what you believe um, period like what your beliefs are and in particular when it comes to love so um, there is going to be some insight that comes to you soon here that's going to allow you to stay grounded here. I think that you're going to get messages over and over and time and time again to say, you know what? Yeah, it's unfortunate that you have to walk away, but you have to do what's best for you. Um, because again, remember, we have the destined card here. There's something you're walking away because it no longer serves you because there is something that is more destined for you here. All right. It says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Okay, that's exactly what I just said. So it looks like you're going to be very, very open. Um, clairvoyance, you know, is like really being able to, um, you know, see and, and know what needs to happen. Um, this is also talking about um, seeing um, different reoccurring physical and emotional feelings again like i just said you know every time you feel like oh my god i feel so bad you know i don't really want to hurt anyone or feel sorrowful um the nine of the nine of wands comes out and it's like you know what what it's no longer serving you okay so you're going to be really um having these emotional ups and downs but really when you start to get that strength, know that spirit is there to, to pick you up to say, you know what, but it's no longer serving you. Something definitely needs to change here, okay? Um, you got the out, outdoors card here. I cannot talk today. Um, it says, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yeah, so I think for some of you, this is a stressful situation, as you can see. And it's like, you know what, you might just need to get out and really um, get out of the regular routine and get your mind off of, you know, what is really going on, you know, and please forgive. I, I don't know what's going on. It's really noisy in my area today. Um, so please forgive the noise. But yeah, really, really relieve your stress. Um, some of you, nature really helps. Um, there is a natural um uplifting that can happen um when you're out in the sun or you're with nature or even when it rains going out in the rain or listening to the rain there are so many ways that nature can help you um de-stress um gentleness it says be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments yes um i feel like what we said here you know some of you have a lot of guilt for wanting to move on with your life and it's like you got to stand that ground so be gentle with yourself and don't be so hard on yourself because you do want to um, go in a new direction here so let's get some overall 
guidance pertaining to the outcome here because it does look like you are going to drop your swords release those burdens and um you know really head towards finding what your heart desires okay all right so you got the time for a nap card okay um let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has to say about this particular card here 24. All right, it says, this is a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, and your desires. It says that nothing is important as rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back, take a seat, and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent any force or conscious direction as you observe without engagement now. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like this message is like when we're talking about the Six of Swords. Like, you're like, you know what? I just don't want to fight anymore. It's like, I'm just taking a time out from the situation. You know, I'm taking a time out and I am going to you know, just step away from the situation. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing here, you know, um, just walking away, you know, stepping back and just letting things happen the way that they need to happen. But you know, you know, why you are doing what you're doing. And to me, it's like, 